What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today uh, with an announcement that I'm sure many of you have heard and that's that the uh, Samsung Captivate has officially uh, been given 2.2 Froyo uh, build source is KB1 for the Captivate. Um, a lot of it's been talked about and it's kind of been up and down but uh, it actually is official now and it is available through the Samsung proprietary software known as Keys uh, to be more specific, Keys Mini. You can get that Keys Mini in the description at my website below. Here it is right here on the screen. Uh, and the first things first, you want to install Keys Mini onto your computer. Now we're working with Windows 7, um, so it's going to be similar for Vista and XP though. So just double click the uh, software, it'll kind of launch up and do its thing. Give you a closer look at that. And uh, this is something that uh, Captivate owners have been waiting on for a long time. A lot of the other variants have already gotten it. The Vibrant even got it before the Captivate. And it's kind of upsetting and sad to say the least. But uh, here it is. And uh, we thought we were going to get it way sooner back when uh, the original <clears throat> JI6 released. Back in uh, pretty much like September, I believe. So our locale is U.S. English. Uh, we'll accept the license agreement. <clears throat> Default folder was fine. And uh, we'll finish up the install here and um, probably do a speed up of the video to get you guys not as bored. So bear with us and we'll do a speed up. Okay, we are back and we want to elect to restart our computer. So go ahead and say finish, allow it to restart your machine. We'll catch it back up with you in just a second after our restart has completed. And uh, we'll continue this process. Okay, we are back up and our machine has just finished its reboot. As you can see, somewhere on your desktop you should have a Keys Mini shortcut just like this. Um, you need to have your USB cable for this next step as well. Um, Let's talk about some of the settings that need to be set up on the phone. For this to work correctly, we need to have our Captivate. Here we have our Captivate. It's actually bone stock. We can review uh, our about phone info and show you that it's completely stock Eclair JF6, which is the 2.1.1 um, firmware that the phone ships with. Um, there's nothing been done to this one, so we're going to be upgrading from a JF6 standpoint. I recommend that you actually you have to have the stock launcher on here which is TouchWiz and uh, the reason for that is keys will only work with a stock launcher. Um, in addition to this you may go to applications development make sure USB debugging is turned off and um, for USB settings you can set it however you want. Ours will automatically go to keys uh, but be sure that it's set to either ask on connection or Samsung keys. Because what happens is we'll start this software, so we'll double click, it's going to verify updates. If it finds an update, say OK. So I found an update for us, it's going to analyze some files and uh, do the update for us right now. And this can take a few short moments, so we'll speed this up for you. Okay, so our update is now complete. We'll say OK. And this should launch Keys Mini. So now we're going to see a screen that says, please connect your mobile phone. It's important to stress that you need to be doing this from a plugged in laptop if you're doing it from a laptop. You don't want this to stop in the middle of flashing because you could end up with a hard brick. Also make sure your phone is at least 50% of battery life. Keys Mini will not even allow you to continue unless it is. Um, to verify your true battery life, you can always uh, click settings uh, and go into about the phone and click status and we can see there that our battery level is 100 percent you can verify that as well i would personally recommend above 75 percent as well as a plugged in laptop and if possible a desktop and uh, from here after we've set up no usb debugging and ask on connection or keys as well as our stock launcher which is the launcher the phone shipped with plug it in and you'll get the keys background that looks like that. Now the PC will determine what the phone is. So the software will do this 
And we'll notice that we've got an upgrade available as of February 19th, 2011. And our model number is the uh, American Samsung Captivate. Now we'll just click Phone Upgrade. Now it's going to do some uh, some small things. It's going to determine your battery life and a few other things. And it's going to ask you if you accept the terms and agreements. It'll show our current version as JF6, which we just showed you. And that will be going to the KB1 update, which is the official Froyo. So check I have read and understood the preceding info and click Upgrade. Now from here, your firmware is going to be downloaded. It's going to download binary files. After that, it's going to put the phone into download mode and then it's going to flash those binaries to the phone itself. Do not unplug the phone. Don't unplug the computer. Don't shut it down. Don't do anything. At this point, you need to just look and watch or go have yourself uh, something to drink, watch a TV show for about 5 to 10 minutes because that's about how long this is going to take depending on your internet connection as well. So... Um, preferably just kind of let it go. So we're going to do a time lapse for this to speed this up as well. Your experience is going to be about 5 to 10 minutes and we'll talk about some changes once the phone has booted back up. Remember that this will not uh, overwrite anything on your phone. You actually will not lose any applications, pictures, text messages. All that's going to stay the same. The only thing that may change, that probably will change, is your widgets and your home screen shortcuts. You will have to reset those up. There's no clear cut way to migrate widgets in Android operating system. So anyways, this is going to finish and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in just a second. Okay, now from a PC standpoint, the flash is completed. Now we're going to have a few more things happen in the phone side of things, and it's going to do some uh, repartitioning and things like that. You can click OK on the PC, and I'm going to allow you guys to see the rest of this that's going to happen over the next few moments, and I'm sure we'll just go ahead and time lapse that for you as well. Okay, so the phone has now booted back up all the way into standard mode. Let's go ahead and unlock. Now you'll notice right off the bat, uh, we can unplug our USB cable for one. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to get some messages like this. I'll just click skip all. Just typical first startup messages there. And uh, in a moment, we'll get a screen. Something for you guys to see. Obviously, it's doing media scanning and whatnot in the background. So there's our screen. And uh, you may notice off the bat, some things may be different with your widgets in your home screen. Your background probably will migrate over, but uh, that's not a big deal. All the applications and things are there. You'll notice your email, your applications, uh, all those types of things are there. And if we go into the actual phone settings, we can review and clearly see that we are running Froyo KB1. So that is the 2.2 upgrade, which is great to see. So you'll notice a few other enhancements to the operating system, such as general speed and performance, uh, some other things such as wireless and USB-based tethering, some things that we saw that were robbed from us in the JH7 Captivate update. Um, stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to be showing you how you can enable tethering without having to pay for the tethering package on the Captivate with this update, as well as how to root this particular version of 2.2. I do have a 2.2 uh, root video available, but it only covers the original JI6 version of Captivate, not this KB1. But don't worry, uh, I'm going to show you guys how to root the KB1 firmware as well. So that's how to upgrade your new Captivate, or your old Captivate, to the all-new Froyo KB1 Source from Samsung that was released on February 19th 
You saw it here at Mobile Tech Videos. Check us out at mobiletechvideos.com. We've got tons of videos for the Captivate. So if for some reason this is the first video you were seeing for the Captivate, you got to check us out. That's what we started with. And uh, we've got tons of things to show you for the Captivate. So mobiletechvideos.com. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're ready to try this firmware upgrade, good luck.